This activity is called butterfly symmetry. Madeline with the STEM Connection and today I'm here with my friends Ellie and Kim. For a STEM quick win and what's our STEM quick win for today? Butterfly symmetry. Awesome. So Cammy, what does it mean if something's symmetrical? It means there's the same thing on both sides. Exactly. So if something it has bilateral bilateral symmetry, it means that they're aligned on the middle and both sides look exactly the same. So can you girls think of some things in nature that have symmetry, especially bilateral symmetry? Uh flowers? Butterflies. Exactly. And let's talk a little bit more about the butterflies. Where would that line be in a butterfly? Um, it would be down the middle where its body is. Exactly. So both wings look exactly the same. So why don't we make a butterfly and show that bilateral symmetry? So we're, I'm going to show you how to fold it. So you're going to fold it in half. Then you're going to fold it in half again so you have this cone-like shape. And then you're going to draw on it with marker. Put as much marker on it as possible because it has to go through to the other side. And then we're going to take our pipette or whatever you have and put some water on it to spread it out. Now are you girls ready to try it? Yes. yes. All right, let's try. All right, so now the girls have decorated theirs. They put their marker and their water on. So Cammy, why don't you show us how you put the body on? And Ellie, since you already have the body on yours, can you tell me what you notice about your butterfly? It looks the same on both sides. Exactly, so that's a prime example of bilateral symmetry. Now we challenge you to make your own butterfly. And learn a little bit more about symmetry. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Many things in nature have bilateral symmetry, which means you could divide that thing into two equal parts that mirror each other. Or in other words, if you could fold that thing in half, both parts would match up. So take this leaf for example. This leaf has bilateral symmetry because we could draw a line of symmetry right down the middle and we can fold this leaf up along that line of symmetry and see that both sides perfectly match up but are mirrors of each other or opposite. Many animals exhibit bilateral symmetry in their body structures, including butterflies. This STEM quick win was financially sponsored by the Eli Lilly and Company Foundation. Subscribe if you want to see more weekly STEM videos. See you next time.